If you're starting the new year, 2024, with a, a brand new album, um, so tell me, how was the preparation for this album? Yes. Were there any challenges you faced in the preparation for this album? Uh, the weather in Korea was really cold, like minus minus four degrees, mm -hmm. and we were filming it outside mm -hmm. with, uh, with the rain. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of really cold, and like we all feel really sick, but. The music video really came out well, so it was really uh, worth it. Worth it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have to say first off that I've heard all the tracks on this album multiple times. I'm a big fan of it. So tell me, as the artist, how would you describe this album? 우선 이번 앨범은 총 여섯 개의 곡들이 들어가고 이제 런 형의 특별히 작사 작곡에 참여해서 좀더 특별해지지 않았나 싶고 저희 크래비티가 항상 청춘에 대해서 메시지를 담아서 전달을 했었는데 이번 앨범에서는 청춘에서 함께 빛나고 함께 웃는 그런 순간들을 중점적으로 표현하려고 한 앨범인 것 같습니다. How would you uh, compare this album Ever Shine to your previous ones? This album is really emotion. Emotion. Yes. Yeah. So 우리 감정이 굉장히 잘 담겨져 있는 노래라서 재밌을 겁니다. Oh uh, yes. So this album contains a lot of our emotions, and so compared to different, compared to the previous albums where it's all like bright and happy and upbeat and stuff, with this album we're really becoming like, like emo, like emo BT. <laughs> yes, <laughs> emo BT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That leads me right into the next questions. I did want to talk about your tracks because, you know, you experimented with a few different genres on this uh, album. You know, with um, yeah. with Love or Die and Over and Over, you've got that rock style. Love or Die, it's a lot more high energy than Over and Over, but you still have that rock feel. So tell me how yeah. you felt with uh, that that rock sound for this album. You know what? I'm a... I'm a... I'm a sucker for guitars. I, I love my electric guitars, even though I, I don't know how to play guitar, but I grew up listening to rock music, and so this kind of sound really sounds very, um, it sounds very, uh, it sounds, it's, it, yeah, it sounds like a piece of my childhood. And so I'm super glad and happy to be able to, you know, bring that into the world with gravity and to our fans loverty. And then getting into a couple of the other ones, you know, I'd have to say Say La Vie is probably my favorite song on the album. Super fun. It was the first one I listened to. Um, but then you've also got Cherry Blossom. They're a little they're they're more dancey cherry blossoms, a little almost kind of like disco. Um, so uh, tell me about your first thoughts on those tracks. For Mr. This is the one I really wanted to get your opinion on because um, it, this is giving me like n nostalgia, like second generation K pop sounds. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm sure the rappers really love this song as well. So tell me your first thoughts on Mr. Did you get that same nostalgia old K pop feel as well? You know what? It, no, like excluding like the title track, Love or Die, and my song over and over. I think my uh, the next favorite my favorite song personally would be Mister, just because of how fun this song is, and like with the rap as well. Like I wrote the I wrote my own verses in the second verse and the, and the bridge, and um, and I was able to incorporate like a few like fun elements, like about me. I feel like yeah, this song like, was sort of like personal, and um, yeah, like just this the sound is just very funky. You know, like you don't really hear it these days. And so I thought it was like really new and really, uh, really refreshing in a way. Oh, 저도 이곡 들었을 때 되게 신나고 너무 좋았고요. 그리고 가사를 쓰면서도 되게 
확실한 컨셉 있는 곡이어가지고 너무 재밌게 썼습니다. And then that brings us to a worst thriller. I would have to say, like, if this was, if there was a vampire drama happening, this song has to be included in that. Um, very dark and mysterious. Um, so, you know, I would love to see a, a music video or a choreography performance for this as well. So, um, can fans expect to see any uh, promotion or any content for a worst thriller? Yeah, actually, worst thriller is my favorite song on this album, and I hope I hope this songs have a choreography, and one day we can. Uh, perform it at a concert or some something. So yeah, I think it's re it will really come out really sexy and very new style of gravity. Mm -hmm. If you were going to choose one of the other ones to be the title track, which one would it be? Oh, that's a good question. I, I would choose War Thriller because well, War Thriller is my favorite song. I choose Selavi. Selavi. Oh. I love Selavi meme. Meaning? Meaning? Meaning. Yeah. yeah. The meaning of the song of And I can't, I can't choose the other song because my favorite song is Love or Die. Mm. Wow. So I love it. <laughs> okay. I choose over and over just, just out of personal greed. No, I'm just kidding. But like, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. No. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I'd have to say for sure that like each song can stand on its own, which is kind of rare these days because, you know, um, it's usually maybe uh, someone doesn't like this one as much as that one. But I feel like every song is pretty evenly matched because, I mean, they're all different, but I, I feel like they can definitely st stand on their own as well. No skip, no no skip, all bop, no skip. For uh, Love or Die, you know, everyone loved their TikTok challenges with these. So can we expect to see a TikTok challenge performed with a lot of other groups now, idols for this album? Oh, definitely. We've already filmed a couple. So you can definitely look forward to that. Yes. Yes. So that's the behind the scenes. That's how you, you get them so quickly out because you've already filmed them with these groups ahead of time. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We send them the video with a little tag, like, oh, so it doesn't get like um, uh, leaked, you know? Speaking of TikTok, you know, you guys are really entertaining on yours. Um, so I wanted to know what type of content is on your FYP? What type of content are you watching? Uh, for my page, yeah, usually I have many memes because I love uh, America jokes, mm -hmm. and I think uh, some some kind of dances too. And these days, I think I watch kind of like aesthetic. I, I move on to the like cinematic TikTok page. So like these days, my favorite page is all, almost uh, cinematic cinematic graphics mm -hmm. stuff. You guys have been around for uh, a few years at this point now, but for a new fan who may be discovering you, I was wondering if you could each pick a song that fans can add to a playlist to get to know you. Jumper! Jumper! Jumper, because Jumper intro is really hot. Yeah, classic, Jumper. classic. Yes. Yeah. Early morning, listen to Jumper. <laughs> Early morning? Yeah, yeah. it'll really wake you up. Um, my turn. My yeah. turn. Oh, good day. 멋있고 크래비티의 새로운 매력을 볼수 있는 곡입니다. And I'll choose A to Z, A to Z. Ooh, which is really uh, my favorite song of all Gravity songs. Mm -hmm. uh, I recommend for Love Fire. Love, Love Fire. Fire. Because these days trend is mm -hmm. the easy listening, right? Mm -hmm. Then I think that the Love Fire kind of like that song is the Chokapan. Yes. Suitable. Yeah. So I recommend debut album. First track, Top of the Chain. Oh yes. You can be Top of the Chain. Yeah. <laughs> Since uh, a lot of members recommend like pretty like high energy songs, uh, Priority, we have a lot of like soft songs as well, such yes. as I would say Call My Name. Yeah. Very, uh, very. Yeah, thanks. 
Thank you. Thank you, Lupin. Thank you. Go away. Call my name. Yep. Alan. <laughs> I think breathing. 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 Uh, breathing. Uh, I recommend 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Oh. 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 <gasps> because nine, we got we have nine is a significant number to our group. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pay Lover Die. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Lover Die is gonna be my favorite song. The all of Kravitz song. Yeah. Uh, and and one, more, one more, one more, I wanna recommend uh, Vene Vidi Vici. Oh, oh Vene, because Vene, that that's our box too. Vene Vidi Vici. There's also Fly. You know. Yeah. Party rock, groovy. Every you know, song. The list goes on. Get lifted, <laughs> Fatty. Is there a song that you you've done in your career that you've never gotten to perform that you really you really want to? Oh wow. I think. <laughs> What's the thriller? Where's thriller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sexy song. I yeah. love sexy. Yeah, we love sexy stage. <laughs> yeah, we love sexy. Yes. Yeah, sexy me. Oh. Yeah. I say uh, we have a song called Dangerous. It's on the My Turn album. I really like the I really like the rhythm and the bass line of the song, and I feel like it's a, it's very funky. It's very like Michael Jackson ish kind of. <clears throat> so like, like later if we get the chance, I, I feel like it would be a good idea for a performance. After you're done with promotions, what is your favorite thing to do, or what do you look forward to doing after? Oh, uh, chicken and ramen, wow. Uh, he chicken. wants to he wants to eat some chicken and ramen. Oh, noodle. instant noodles. Yes. yes, because he's on a very uh, strict diet right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have one. Yeah, what is it? In summer, I want to go swimming pool with. Our members. Oh yeah. Do you really know? Yeah, really. Why did you with our member? <laughs> with <laughs> our member. <laughs> with our with our member. With our member. Of course. Fans know a lot about you. You know, there's a lot about you online. But is there anything about you that fans may not know that you you wish for them to know? Oh wow. Oh. 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 I don't know if our fans know, but uh, I'm really into uh, songwriting these days. So maybe uh, our lobbyists can look forward to that. Yes. Yeah. Bet. What are some of the most memorable fan experiences you've had? Well, <clears throat> you know what? I myself am a K-pop fan myself. So if you say fan experience, I would say uh, 2023 KCON LA. Where I got to uh, see my role model, my longtime role model, uh, Taemin of Shiny. I got to see him perform on stage, like this close, like really close. Like I was like, I had my phone now, I was recording and everything. And like a lot of fans, a lot of like Shiny fans and like art fans, like saw me and they thought it was really cute and very wholesome. And um, yeah, it's definitely a memorable moment because he's the reason why I became a K-pop idol myself. So definitely unforgettable experience. <laughs> Is that a fan experiences? <laughs> yeah, because I'm a fan. I, 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 become, a, I become a fan. <laughs> I've actually seen multiple videos, fan cams, of you scooting next to him and getting closer. And I was like, this is the biggest K-pop fan that there is. So I'm, I'm really glad you got to experience that. Thank you, thank you. Wow. You already know. Yeah, you know all about <laughs> us. <laughs> Last year, we went U.S. tour. Yeah. In San Juan. Mm -hmm. Their, our fans' energy was amazing. In San Juan. Yeah. yeah. Puerto Rico. Yes. During our world tours, especially uh, when when the when the dates are very close to members' birthday, for example, when we went to Manila, the Manila fans celebrated Songmin's birthday together, because his birthday is August first, and we had the show in Manila August fifth, I think, and then in um, in in Macau we celebrated Hyunjun's birthday because that took place in November towards the end of November, and um, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a. Uh, we're very grateful and um, for our fans who like who, who you know they memorize everything they take care of like these little like details of us and like yeah just super grateful for them who has had the biggest personality changes since their debut that you've seen i think oh. it's Ubi. me i think it's songmin 
I think it's Alan. Me? Yeah. I think. <laughs> I think it's Jungmo. I think it's Wanjin. <laughs> My brother's different. <laughs> uh, the biggest, biggest. Mm. I think biggest is Sungmin because Sungmin before he is very shy, shy boy, and and he really like. He really like uh, respect the Hyungs, like the, his his older brother. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He was li really <laughs> like dog, but mm -hmm. now it's cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His personality yeah, changed. Whole personality changed. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you just talked about your your last tour, but um, as international fans, we're always hoping uh, that the new year will bring a tour. So do you have any hopes uh, for a tour this year or in the future? Um, with any new places you would like to visit? Ooh. Ooh. Definitely like if uh, if if a tour, if we can have a tour, like we will go on a tour. Um, cities, there's many cities that we haven't been to. We can't guarantee that we get, we get to hit all those cities, but like definitely where you are, Seattle. Yeah. And um, last year we didn't really get to go to Europe for the tour as well. Europe or like South America. So maybe hopefully like if we go on tour, like we can hit some of those areas. And, and also uh, Asia. And some, some other countries in Asia as well. My last question wrapping up is, um, you know, you're starting 2024 with a new album. So um, what are your goals for this year? We're gonna make Gravity big. We're gonna make Starship big. <laughs> <laughs> That's our goal. Thank you so much, Clint, for having us on Fox 13 Seattle. We really hope one day we get to see you in person. And um, yeah, hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please always stay healthy, be happy, take care. <laughs>